we should be working together to try to find those answers. Because when I hear that, that everybody's at the table making decisions and we're all working collaboratively, I, I just don't get that sense that that's really happening. And so what I want to do is to extend that invitation or a challenge or however you want to do it or a request to see if, uh, if, see if, if there's you, myself, and maybe another counselor or two or other people to see what there is. Because, you know, I fundamentally believe, and I'm, I'm going to repeat myself, I fundamentally believe that police and fire are among the most important aspects of our functioning as a city government. And right now we're not doing it too adequately. And so, and, and, I, and I, I listen attentively to your comments, and when you say that you've, you've gone under every rock, you've made every cut, you've, uh, you've done everything you possibly can, because you've consulted with us for that stuff, I'm saying, really? You really have consulted with everybody to try to figure out where that is? I mean, it, 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 there's, there's lots of ideas that I'm not sure you've had a chance to examine or consider, that maybe if I bring to the table, you might think that's a good idea. With with cooperate or consultation with some of my colleagues as well, that maybe we can find two, three, four money for five. I'll take as many police officers. As my question: Can we work together with that? I respond. Yes, sir. I won't be shy to tell you. Talk to Chief Council of Mine. And no, you will not be invited. And I ask you to affirm the same opportunity that you had of speaking your mind as to uh, asking if we can come together. The reason why I have not and will not reach out to you to sit down and talk about things is because one of the first council that I met with at 7 in the morning, 7 in the morning, I stopped bringing my son to school that day to meet with you. And after the meeting, we had an understanding of respecting each other's opinion but yet agreeing to work. The same afternoon, we had another meeting with another couple of, couple of people. The next day, you were not only in the media, but you were here at the body of City Hall doing totally the opposite of what you were preaching. The problem with you, Mr. LaPlante, is that with this, Mr. Mayor. you don't debate issues with the purpose of getting things right. You come up with issues just because you enjoy taking the opposite view, and I do not have that time to waste. You are one or nine. When you address issues that really, really want to put our city forward, without first going to the press, and just coming down with issues that really make no sense at all, not only to me, but to many people in our community, including some of your fellow council. Then why me? If we're going to meet and, and, and talk about a topic civilly, openly, nothing on the hiding, and a day later you will speak like the conversation never took place. We don't have to agree, but we must tell the truth all the time. So, public, I will tell you. This mayor is not going to waste his time until I see that you have the respect to your other fellow councilor because you are just real issues, not in the Thank you, Thank mayor. you. Thank you, mayor. Five minute body punch and head punch to, to the city councilor, which I allowed to go forward, and nowhere in my discussions. Can a fellow no, mayor can give me a little bit of water, please? <laughs> nowhere in my discussions did I at all come down in any kind of negative way as the mayor just decided to take some personal shots at me, which I think were unfounded. And I, I, those comments, I think, through you, Mr. I, I could have invoked a, a point of personal privilege at any one time, but the mayor decided that he wanted to apparently get something off his chest, um, and I'm willing to listen to what he has to say. So as much as, as disappointed as I am with those comments, uh, it, 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 I, I'm almost, I'm almost speechless about it because I, 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 there's, there's a school of thought that I come from anyway that says, even if you have the fundamental differences of opinion, if you cannot continue to keep the lines of communication open, if you're unable to do that, 
then you're never going to make progress. Um, so I, I, I feel bad for our city after those comments, Mr. Mayor. I feel bad for the people I represent. I feel bad for all the people in the city when a city leader says that they don't want to meet with another elected official because of some apparent slight of some sort. And when an olive branches have been exchanged to try to make some stuff happen and there's no reciprocal relation, but rather a very heated position, I, I, I think we owe more of ourselves. And frankly, as an understatement, I'm pretty disappointed that that's the tack you're taking.